Science. Today at Glasgow Science Centre, we're going to be investigating the effects of forces spread over a large surface area. And to do this, we're going to be using this bed of nails. Now this bed of nails consists of 500 nails. But if I were to put my foot on one of those nails and put some pressure on it, it'd probably go right through my shoe and it wouldn't be very pleasant. But let's see what happens when I put my entire body weight on all 500 nails. Okay. Now, as you can see, I'm nice and safe. But to understand why I'm safe, we have to look at the force placed on each nail. So here we have two smaller beds of nails, one with a single nail and the other with 100 nails. So we'll place a balloon on each of these beds and see how the different surface areas have an effect on the pressure placed on the balloon. So let's start with the smaller bed, which only has one nail. Now this has a very small surface area. So I'll place the balloon on top and add some pressure using this wooden block. And as you can see, the balloon bursts. And that's because all of the pressure is focused on one point. So let's see what happens when we place the balloon on the 100 nail bit. So again, I will be applying the same amount of pressure. And as you can see, the balloon doesn't burst in this case. And that's because the pressure is well distributed over a larger surface area. And that was why I was safe on the bed of nails. Now this can be seen in nature, for example with polar bears, who spread their whole weight over thin ice to avoid falling through. It can also be seen with safety equipment, for example bike helmets, where the force is spread over the whole helmet rather than one impact point. So there you have it, spreading forces over large surface areas. If you've enjoyed this video, you can go onto our YouTube channel and check out our other videos. Other than that, thank you very much for watching.